Hi everyone, my name is Warren and today I'm going to be doing the setup for the Huawei B618 router. So this is an LTE router and you're going to pop your SIM card into it and switch on power and that's about all that you're generally going to need. After that you'll be able to connect to the Wi-Fi network and then use your internet. Okay, so I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this router and we're going to pop a SIM card in as well so that you can see exactly what the router's lights will look like when it has a SIM card inserted that is active through your ISP. Okay, so with your router, you're going to get the quick start guide and this Huawei make it possible card as well. Chuck that to the side and then you're going to get the actual router itself. Just slide that out. There we go. Okay. Also in the box in this section over here is we're going to get the power cable as well as a LAN cable. I'm just going to chuck that to the side, move the router back so you can see it. So on the front of the router you've got a few lights. Let me just actually pull that right up. Now you've got a few lights and you've got one WPS button. Now most routers come with a WPS button. That's for connecting devices up using the Wi-Fi protected setup. It will allow you to connect devices like extenders, um, wireless extenders, and then um, signal boosters and such. Um, what we're now going to look at is, on the, in the lights department, we've got the mode light, we've got the Wi-Fi light, LAN, status power, and the signal lights. Now, with regards to these lights, the first three lights on the top, the signal lights, those will only light up once your router is connected to the, the mobile network or LTE network. And the lights between 1 and 3 will actually show you the signal strength on here. Now, we've got the power light just below the WPS button. Now, the power light is going to be a solid green light. Status light should also be solid green. LAN will only show up if you've got a laptop or smart TV or device connected up to one of the LAN ports on the router. And then Wi-Fi light will show up to indicate that it's actually pushing up the Wi-Fi signal. This router has both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless networks. So for faster speeds, connect to the, the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And for a more broader connection within your property or premises, use the 2.4. It's not quite as fast as the 5 gigahertz, but it'll allow you to connect much further away from the router than you normally would. Um, then you've got the mode light. Now the mode light on this router is a bit of an important one. It indicates to us whether or not the SIM card is connecting to the mobile network. So if that comes up red, you're not going to be able to gain internet access on your SIM card. If that comes up blue, as we'll see in a few minutes or seconds, it's going to indicate that you can connect to the internet and you should be able to browse. On the back of the router, we've got the power socket on the bottom. We've got a telephone port that's for connecting a phone handset up if you've got your VoIP set up on this, on this uh, LTE router. Then we've got the LAN 2 and LAN 1 port. LAN 2 can be used as a WAN port as well. What this tells us is that this router can be used for fiber connections as well. So if you've got any fiber or cable connections, you can go ahead and plug in a LAN cable into LAN 2, which doubles up as a WAN port, go through the setup on the router's interface, and be able to connect to the internet. We've also got a USB port, we've got the power button, and we've got main, the, the antenna connectors for if you're connecting up an, an external antenna. Okay, let's pop that close again. On the bottom of the router, we've got some handy information. Now, on here we find the default information for the router. More specifically, we'll see what the Wi-Fi SSID is, as well as the Wi-Fi key. That'll allow you to connect your devices up to the wireless network while the router is in its default state. Once you've connected up and log into the router, you'll then be able to do the setup of the router and save your own wireless credentials on there. The other thing we're going to look at is the IP. Now, the IP is used to actually access the router from your browser. So you pop that into your web address bar of your browser and you'll be able to log on to the router. Other things on here is going to be the username and password for logging into the router and then the WPS pin. 
Now, also the more important thing that we do see here is where to insert the SIM card. Now, something that I just noticed about the SIM card and how to enter it, the router actually does give you a little cutout or a little indication of how to enter the SIM card. But if you have a look on this corner here, it actually shows you there as well which corner should be inserted. None of the other corners are cut off like that. That indicates to us how the SIM card is going to be inserted into this router. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a SIM card real quick. And according to what we see on this little um, sticker, we're going to pop our SIM card in exactly that way. Let's slide that in. And you should hear a little click that tells you that your SIM card is nice and secure. Let's see if we can hear it. Okay, it was very soft, but I heard it. Okay, so now that we've got that put in, I'm just going to grab the power cable. And we're going to pop in power and then see what the lights look like on the router. Okay, now let's pull that in close. So now we see all the lights go up and they're going to go down again in a few seconds. Okay, now there we see mode light. It went from red to blue immediately. So that indicates that this SIM card should be connecting to the network, the mobile network that is. We see the status light also green and LAN light is the only light that's off right now and that's because there's no devices connecting up with the LAN cable. And on the top section, just above the WPS button, we've got the three signal lights. At the moment, it looks like we have good, strong signal. We should be able to gain decent internet access on this router. Now, let's pop that back down again. So that is the, the setup or unboxing and plugging in of the Huawei B618. Um, that is how we insert the SIM card. I've already done an interface login video that applies to this router specifically. We'll be able to log on to the router and see how to make changes to the router like the Wi-Fi settings as well as the um, APN settings and such. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video for that particularly and we'll also add it as a little card on the top of the screen for your next video to watch. Thank you and thanks for coming.